Hey everybody, Miss Countryman here. Hey guys, it's Miss Sanchez. Okay, so today we're gonna to be doing a smart music tutorial and Ms. Sanchez and I are still learning ourselves, so it won't be absolutely perfect, but hopefully um, we can take you through some how-tos and different things and you guys can get some playing assignments recorded and turned in for us. So first things first is to go to your Google Chrome um, app there and then type in smartmusic.com and hit enter. And it'll look a little bit like this. We're gonna hit login up here on the corner. And you guys should have created a login um, and password whenever you were registering yourself. So um, hopefully you have that and you remember that from your um, login in before. So we're gonna hit new smart music right here. You can click on that big screen and it will get you to a smart music login. So um, this is Claire, C-L-A-C-O-U-1848, and then this is her password, and she's logged in before, so it is um, remembering her on my computer. So that is great. So we're going to hit login. Clearly, you'll type your own things in there, right? Um, awesome. And so then you have some assignments here that Ms. Sanchez and I have created for you. And so the one we're going to go over today that we would like for you to record and turn in is the 182 Essential Elements Surprise Symphony. And if you remember, we did a video um, instructional uh, in Flipgrid of last week on the same um, one. And so hopefully um, this is going to help you to be super successful in smart music while playing um, these notes for a, another week. So, um, okay. Okay. yes, we are in the beginner class. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, so this assignment was strictly made for beginners. The other classes are going to have assignments that are for them. Um, so just don't get confused when, when we go through this one, if you're not a beginner. Okay. Or how, a how to. Yes, so true, so true. Thank you so much for saying that, sorry. Okay, so you're gonna go to your assignment and go right here where it says start and click once. And then you need to hit instrument and pick obviously your instrument. So it's your clef and your notes. And my daughter plays viola. So I'm gonna click viola and hit okay. We're gonna load. And so then Ms. Sanchez has written these awesome general instructions for you. Each of them will have um, specific things for your assignment, okay? So she says this is in the key of C major, so be sure to play F natural and C natural with the exception of a few accidentals. Be sure to bring out the different dynamics too. So for your part instructions, the real tempo is 88, so um, you can adjust the tempo and we're gonna show you how to do that for practicing. Um, and we'll talk about that when we get in there. So um, your rubric points are gonna be 100. You're gonna try to get 100, um, and you can do that multiple attempts. So um, we'll show you that too. All right, so close that instructional window. And then we have the surprise symphony. So you have your part here and the cursor. So it's gonna start on beat one, and this blue line is going to move for each beat. Right, Ms. Yeah. 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 So before you start, it's smart to go ahead and tune yourself. And Smart Music has this little tuning fork. And I know that looks strange to some of you guys. It's an old school way of tuning. So if you hit the tuning fork, it'll bring up a tuner. Some of you probably already have one, but in case you don't have one downloaded, you can use this one and it'll tell you if you're in tune and you can adjust as you need to. So Ms. Countryman, gonna check for tuning real quick. Great, so you want to be in tune. That way it picks up the correct pitches, okay? All right, so she's done tuning. Um, and so we're gonna talk about some of these options that you guys have at the top. So on the far left corner, you have what we call accompaniment, and that's where you can turn down or turn up the amount of sound that you hear from other instruments, just kind of like you would have an orchestra. Um, so we're gonna move it towards the top so that we can hear the accompaniment. Um, across from that, you have your own part. If you don't wanna hear your own part, you can turn it off. 
Um, but if you actually just want it to play along with you because you need the reinforcement, then that's fine too. And then same with the metronome volume. You can turn it up if you need it to be louder or down if you want it softer. And then the cool thing right there next to the metronome is the subdivision. So in class, a lot of the time, we like to turn on the eighth notes so that you can hear the in-between beats. Ms. Countryman was playing with it earlier and she felt the subdivisions are really helpful. Um, but if you don't want them and you just want the beat, you can turn it off. So right now, the subdivisions are on, okay? So those are um, all the little options you have as far as your part and accompaniment and sound. Then underneath right there, it's a 75 because the metronome, metronome is set at 75. You can adjust that too as you need. So if she goes up, right, it's still, um, it looks normal, but Ms. Countryman, can you go down underneath 75 and it turns red. So we set parameters for you guys because we want 75 to be the slowest that you record your performance at. You can you can still practice it at lower tempos, um, but 75 is gonna be the lowest tempo that you can play this at, okay? So she um, already did some of this today, but we're gonna let you guys um, hear how it works. So she's gonna hit play. Or actually, you're gonna record, right, Ms. Countryman? I will eventually, yeah. Right. And it counts off for you. Right. We'll do that again. Okay. We'll count off. So you're going to yeah. see like a one, two, three, four. And let's turn subdivisions off for just a second so you can just hear the main beat one, two, three, four, and you can see how it clicks together. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, uh, no. One, two, three, four, one. Two, uh, no, yep, yeah, just like that. Okay. You can practice as many times as you want with it um, at that tempo, or you can change the tempo if you feel like it's too slow. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, over here. Sit on the phone and you feel like you're ready to go ahead and record. That's what the little red dot button is at the top. So, Ms. Countryman, I think you're ready to record. Right. Yep. Uh huh. Yeah. And I'm gonna click subdivision so that I can hear the eighth notes one and two and three and four and so I know right where each each quarter note is. I'm gonna play. So when I play it correctly, it's gonna come up with a green note. It's gonna be great. Then if I play a wrong note or out of tune note, it's gonna turn red. And then if I play a yellow note, then it's gonna show up on the side, which yellow means that it wasn't on the right time. It was a little late or a little early. So you're going to see all of those things going to help you all while you're practicing. Okay, so I'm going to hit record and get ready. Oh, use this mode. And they may want you to test your microphone. And we're good. And we can start. Three. <laughs> All right, so see some good stuff in there. See some greens and some reds and some yellows. Yeah. Um, okay, so it's going to completely assess my situation. Um, I did not play the whole thing, so if I went all the way down here to the bottom note, it would give me out of 100 points, um, you know, how I scored. So I stopped early, and so over here on this little green checkbox, it says that I got 34% um, correct. So if I had gone down to the end, you would see more of like a out of 100%. Um, percent. So I don't like a 34. That's my grade. I don't want a 34. So I'm going to try to record it again. Um, I'm going to, you could either save it um, and I would suggest you could save them for sure. Um, and this time I'm going to delete it because I know I don't ever want to turn in a 34. So I'm going to delete it. But if I wanted to see all the other things that I had recorded, I could look under my takes and it would show all of the options that I had recorded and saved. So, anyway.
if I wanted to submit the assessment, I could submit this to the teacher and then you would send it to Ms. Sanchez and I and we would see it. Yep. So you should take it as many times as you can to ensure that you get a good grade. Um, but of course, if you're cool with like maybe a 95, 96 and you're ready to turn it in, then that's totally fine. Um, this is a very short one. We are gonna give you um, a lot of different little assignments just like this. Um, but this is so that you guys um, can kind of use it to help you practice. Um, there's also little things that we didn't talk to Ms. Countryman, um, like the loop right there at the top. Mm -hmm. So if you click on it, say, hey, I keep um, messing up measure nine and 10. Mm -hmm. I hit loop and then you can set at the top the measures that you want to loop over and over so that you are just practicing those measures. I guess you have to slide it all the way down. Sometimes it's a little tricky. It's okay, we can pick different measures, it doesn't matter. Okay, I don't know how to get down to measure nine. <laughs> Sorry. But you could loop. You could loop measure uh, four and five. Um, there's got to be a way. Yeah, you got to get a three and four and. One, two, three, go. Yeah, so it's just going to loop these measures over and over again. You can clear it. Cool, and then there was one cool feature that we discovered earlier. Um, so right now she's clicked on this note right here and there is a little tool right there at the bottom that you can click on that'll help you uh, figure out where that note is on your instrument. Mm -hmm. um, so that's an F natural for a viola, so it shows them um, on the D string right next to where an E would be. So mm -hmm. It says, and then one and low two, yeah. It shows you right there on the side too, which is such a cool feature. Yep. So you know what I'm thinking? If you click on the measure you want to start in and then you hit set, that's how you can manipulate how far you want to go with your uh, loop. Yeah, for practice. But you have to click on that measure first and then you can drag the second one where you want it to go. Yeah, so click, gotta... yeah, click 13 and then set and then you can, you know, pull it and then it'll play just these two measures over and over again until you hit stop. So there you go. Good to know. And you can clear it when you're ready. Yeah. So we hope that this was a little helpful for you guys. Um, I know it's totally different than what we uh, usually do in class, but hopefully the little features within Smart Music will, uh, will guide you so that you can practice with it and then of course record when you're ready. Anything else you want to say in this country, man? Um, it does not work on a cell phone. So you need to have um, smart music on a computer or a laptop. So um, if you're trying to view this in Schoology and want to do it that way, um, you're gonna have to go through uh, something other than your device. So and yeah, and right. use Chrome when you do it, right. Um, if it turns out that you cannot do smart music, um, we definitely want you to message us and tell us that. I will create a Flipgrid um, for you to record your assignment there so that you can still participate, um, but just not using the smart music feature. But let us know, please. All right, well, thank you guys for joining us. Um, hope this was helpful and let us know if you need anything else. Okay, bye. Miss you.